This is the North Shore News, Canada's best community newspaper. Three times each week they publish over 60,000 newspapers that are delivered by hand to homes, apartments and businesses in North and West Vancouver. The pages for every issue are created on computers, uploaded to the internet and downloaded here at Kodiak Press in Vancouver. This commercial printer specializes in printing newspapers and flyers for businesses throughout the Lower Mainland. Here in the computer to plate room, David Huang receives the North Shore News page files and transfers them by computer to Kodiak's CTP machine, where the images are burned onto special metal alloy plates. It's like making a giant jigsaw puzzle. The plates are turned so they'll be in the right position on the printer. And carefully bent at the edges so they fit snugly in the press. Then they're output and taken to the press room. These are the giant rolls of top quality recycled newsprint that the North Shore News is printed on. Each roll is over a meter in diameter and weighs 715 kilograms. If one fell on you, it would squash you like a bug in no time, flat. This is the giant Goss community printer. It's two stories high, 50 meters long, weighs 70 tons and cost almost two million dollars. U.S. How does it work? We ask the experts. The Goss Community Press is designed to run newspapers and commercial print. It's a specialized uh, press that just designed to do it. So what we have here is a four high. It's four individual units. They are used to run processed color. We have cyan on the bottom unit, we go to magenta, we go to yellow, and then we go to black. And the design of it is the minimal amount of distance between each unit. Because we are printing on paper, that paper stretches as it hits these units. So from unit to unit to lay the color one on top of the other, we want as small a distance as possible to allow minimal amount of stretch and shrinking on the paper. So that's what the design of this is here. So if, 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 if it's too far apart in distance, you're not going to be able to line up the colors at all. So, it's, 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 so it's going to look blurry. It's going to look blurry, but yeah, like, yeah, the sight line or whatever. And also, another way to control that is by, we run water with a solution into uh, the units. And uh, that keeps the ink at a, at a level that we need it to get on the paper as well. So it dries pretty quick and, uh, and stays, stays lubricated. In the top of the unit, we have our ink. And in the bottom of the unit, or for sake of viewing right here, we have water. The plates we're putting on the press are treated so that the ink will stick only to the image area and the water will wash the ink off of the non-image area. So the press job is to get the right mixture, the balance of ink and water, so the image on that plate is a nice, bright, crisp image. If he has too much ink, it'll run all over the sheet. If he has too much water, it'll fade out the image. All of these levers here control the amount of ink that we bring down onto the plate. So the guys are constantly adjusting the ink level. For a solid, they want a lot of ink. If it's a screened image, they want a little bit of ink. If there's no ink in that image area, they want it shut down completely. And what happens is there's a series of rollers through the unit that will take that ink, it'll heat that ink up, and it'll create a nice smooth film to hit the plate. Right across that plate, you want an even film of ink. The same with the water is on a series of rollers. It's the same idea. It brings a lot of water up. We then spread that water across the rollers. 
so when it hits the plate, we have a nice thin film of water. Great. Before a new job can start, old plates from the last job are taken off. The press operator checks the images on the new plate and adjusts the ink levels. Then the new plate is rolled onto the press. This is done on every unit of this giant machine. What we have here is we run a full sheet of new print through the unit into the folder. The folder is the piece that runs the whole press. The folder pulls the paper from the roll stand through the unit down into here. Ryan's job as a pressman is to control the amount of tension on that sheet. When that sheet goes up through the unit, we want it like that. We don't want it wavering in any way. That affects the printer. On the top of the folder, we have a huge big roller called an RTF roller. And that pulls the sheet into the folder down through what we call the former roller. We have three wheels up here on the top. One, two, three. Those three wheels control the tension on top of that roller that's turning. The middle roller actually has a knife blade in it, and that will cut the first cut into the paper, which now will allow us to print a tab product. If we didn't cut that paper, we would be printing a broad sheet. The paper comes down over the former board into a series of rollers that there provide a nice tight image and a straight image going into the folder. Inside the folder we have two cylinders. We have a jaw cylinder and we have a folding cylinder. There's nine pins across the cylinder. Those pins are actually what will pull that sheet through. So if you look at any newspaper, you'll always see the pin holes in the bottom. And what is happening is those pins are pulling that sheet down around the folding cylinder. The jaw cylinder grabs it, pulls it, holds it steady while the knife cuts it. We then have our task. Pretty cool. The color that we see is made up of three separate colors, cyan, magenta, and yellow. Black is added to give definition and it all blends together. Let's fire this baby up. Enormous Goss Press prints 23,000 copies an hour. Try that on your printer at home. Finished copies are checked at random to make sure they meet Kodiak's high standards. Five will be turned so the distribution people have an easy count. 
23,000 copies an hour is a lot of paper. Do they ever run out in the middle of a job? Okay, it takes a lot of people, machinery, and expertise to print a newspaper. So what? 